TikTok and Instagram, I'm sure you've already watched videos with those nice and colorful dynamic captions. Have you ever thought, wow, that looks so cool. I wonder how they do that. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to also add captions to your own social media. And this process is going to be so fast, but also fun and creative. And all you need is your smartphone. So first of all, make sure you have your vertical video that you need to caption and then add it to a video editing app. And in this case, I'm going to use CapCut. Click on new project and import your video. Then click on text, auto captions and select the language. I recorded this video in English, so I'm just going to stick to that, but you can select it over here. Make sure to also check dynamic caption and start. As you see, the app is going to create captions for you within a few seconds. Now from here you need to make sure they're correct. So what you want to do is go through your video again and check if you picked up the audio and the words are correct. If your video is noisy or maybe you have a bit of an accent like me, there might be some mistakes to correct manually, so let's check it out. Hello everyone, this is a very quick video that I'm now gonna import on CapCut to show you how to add dynamic captions to your YouTube Shorts, Reels, TikToks and IG Stories. So stick around and I'm just gonna talk for a few more seconds so the video can go on. Well, actually in this case the video is very short and everything seems perfect. But in case you need to correct anything, you can click on batch edit and you will now have the complete list of the subtitles. Then double click on the ones you need to change and type the correct words. Go through your video and do this process wherever it's necessary. If you want to zoom on the subtitles to be more precise, just press the screen with two fingers and slide them towards the sides of the screen. Now you can choose to change the style of the captions, meaning font, colors and effects. To do that, tap again batch edit, then select, select all and then edit. CapCut has so many different fonts to choose from. You can scroll here on the list where you have a preview of each font and choose your favorite one. If you now head to style, you have a few options here or you can manually choose the color of the text. And you will see there are so many different color shades to choose from. Then you can also choose to add the stroke, the canvas, which I would recommend if you feel like you can't properly read the subtitles in case the background of the video is distracting. You can choose between a square or rounded canvas. You can choose the color, the opacity, the height, width, and there are also other features, but I wouldn't actually use them. You can also add a shadow here and then the spacing if you want to space out the letters a bit more and then finally bold italic, where you can find these three options. As for me, I will go for these yellow and black captions. To change the size of them, you can either go back to style, size and change it there, or you can just do them manually up here. CapCut is quite addictive, I must say. I really like to go through the effects and try them all, but you will see that a few of them aren't free. Now let's head to animations. As you can see, the one animation we saw on the preview is actually a pro feature, which means that you won't be able to export the video unless you pay for the pro version of the app. You will find lots of options on in, out and loop. But let's stick to caption and go through the free options. The ones I find more interesting and easier to read are multi-line combination, fade in, word by word and bounce out. Let's go for the first one. You can select it and click play on top to see a preview of the subtitles. So let's go through the whole video and see what changes need to be made. If you choose the multi-line combination, for example, I don't like the way it is like in some examples such as here. So I'm going to split the subtitles and change the text. And then we will see if it's better. Yeah, I feel like it's much better, but I will pick the fade-in animation. 
As you can see, the app doesn't automatically add the punctuation, so if you want to do it, make sure you go through your video again and add it manually, like here for example. This is a pretty good caption video, so if you're happy with it, you can export it up here after selecting the resolution and frame rate. I will leave the default settings. Then click up here on the top right part of the screen and just wait for your video to be exported. That's all. I really hope this tutorial was clear. CapCut is a really nice app not only to caption your videos but also to edit them. So now you're all ready to take your videos to another level and to bring accessibility to your social media platform. So well done! As always, if the video was useful, make sure to support me by liking it, leaving a comment below or subscribing to my channel and I will be forever grateful. If you have any questions or requests, I will wait for you in the comments below.